Oh, check those out. Whew, son of a bitch, they look good. Okay, ready? My name is Pablo and you are watching the Tiger Garage TV. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're not, if you've been here before, welcome. I appreciate you being here. On this channel, I show you all the crazy cool stuff that I like to do with cars. I've been a car guy, gearhead, I think all my life. Since I opened up the shop, it's manifested even more. So I created this channel to kind of show all the crazy cool stuff. To kind of show what it's like to work at a shop, be at a shop, run a shop all, shop all day. And uh, that's basically what I do. I own, work, and live here at the Tiger Garage. So, so welcome. I appreciate you being here. On today's episode, here's what we're working on. Check this baby out. I know you remember it. You've seen it before. It's been here before, but now it's back. Living life up in the fast lane. Max track, what that say? Level kit. Okay. Living life up in the fast lane. Up in the fast lane. Fast lane. And we got some more work to do. So let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. I was supposed to record this video early, earlier in the day, but I had a lot of work to do today, honestly. It's been crazy busy in here lately, and I really appreciate that. I, I appreciate that. I really, I really thank all the uh, customers, all the support, and everybody that comes in here. I really do. I truly do. But it's already late in the day, closed up, but not really. So what I'm going to do is work on this baby. Ugh. We've got some LED pods. And these are actually the brackets that go with those pods. So LED pods are probably going to be easy to install, but they're going to be a little bit more complicated when it comes to wiring. So let's take on the challenge. And these are actually the brackets. We opened up everything at the house because, well, oh yeah. Plus my brother got on the antenna, that little thingy that you see up there. It comes with the longer one literally like probably six inches longer but it looks cool right check it out it looks cool right it's just shorty a little stubby antenna that's all it is luckily it doesn't mess with the radio or nothing like that so it still sounds good which is what's important because on my truck i installed a uh, antenna and it did not sound good after that so so here's what we got this is the these are the pods and this is the actual bracket so there's one there's the other now i actually have my hover here right see it over there at the end for one reason. I want to see if these brackets come close to fitting on the Hummer. Because I also want to do the same setup here for my truck, for the Hummer. Since we've been hitting the trails and stuff like that, I think I'm going to need uh, some, some floodlights. So these rigid ones, I really like. I've seen the reviews and stuff like that. These rigid, uh, sun, the sun does it best with them. They're very good quality, a lot more expensive than, than a lot that you could find on eBay and stuff like that, Amazon. But I think these are well worth it, especially for a car that you're going to keep. Uh, I would say invest, invest in, in something like this. Let's start seeing how they fit. You know what to say let's get to work they go they clip on to right right there here's how they go okay they actually just hook on like this i already loosened those bolts if you can see but they go just like that and it sits on the outside like this so it goes barely like Millimeters, centimeters 
from hitting the plastic here. But that's basically how it sits. I need to adjust it and then tighten the bolt, but it should be good. There, kind of like that. That's kind of where it's gonna sit. So it's still, still far enough, and the 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 light will be basically up here. So I'm probably gonna install the lights and then do the wiring later because I don't think I'm gonna have time to do the wiring. That's probably what's gonna take the longest. So let me see where I can wire these uh, the lights to. The switch is gonna be on the inside. So I gotta make a cut on the inside on one of the panels. So I gotta figure out where. Uh, no planning, I'm just going. So, it's all right, let's get to work. Let's get to work. The lights are in, grill is in. And uh, check this out. And the wiring is pretty much, I just have to find a place to put everything. Oh, check those out. Whew, son of a bitch, they look good. It's pretty much done. I gotta figure out the wiring situation though because, uh, because it's already late, so. But check this out, but it's pretty much done. Just the wiring part here, I gotta fix. It's wired up already. It's pretty straightforward. This is the switch. Turn it on. And bam. Check that out. Woo! Let's just look good. Let's just look good. They're nice and bright. Nice and bright. Check how much they light up. Okay. That's without with. Yep. Yeah. So I gotta say, this is this mod is a uh, is what I like, but I gotta fi figure out the situation here. Uh, these three wires need to go from the engine to inside. That way, because I'm I'm trying not to make another hole. That way, use the holes or the the use the frame in the body that's already there. It's basically three wires, so I don't need much. All right. So. So it's been a few weeks and Ranger's here. Uh, let me show you where I ended up running the wires through. So I ended up putting the buttons here, let me show you. Buttons inside and it looks pretty good. I think it's in a good, good location. Take a look. Right here. Can't see that much, let me grab a flashlight. It's right here. Pretty good location, easily accessible. If you're driving, just reach down. Pop the light on, see how it lights up, that way you know it's on. Even in the day, let's say you accidentally hit it, you can see it. Oh, it's on, okay, turn it off. Because again, if you turn that on during driving, you're gonna get pulled over. So, as for where I ran it through. So, I ran this one, it just ran it through there. Tied it up as tight as possible, make it as clean as possible. And here just plugs into the battery, fairly easy, easy to do. Now, where through the firewall did I run it? That's the question I'm sure you wanna know. There's a spot down there. It's hard to look at on camera, but there's a spot down there that where the steering column goes through. What I ended up doing is uh, where the steering column goes through, there's actually a little, like a rubber, bushy around it right i ended up poking a hole through it again remember it's just three wires three thin small wires through the inside under the dash i just made it a little slit maybe about half an inch half an inch long and that's enough to get the three wires through how do i make the wires poke through let me show you i developed this new tool that's actually made just for that and here's what it consists of <laughs> it's just a freaking coat hanger a metal wire coat hanger it, it's because it's a mess down there it's tight it's small and it's tight in there so it's hard to get in through so what i did was i poked this through and through the firewall i saw where it's at so i tied the i tied the, the wires to the edge and then just pulled pulled the coat hanger back and then pulled the wires into the cabin to where i could you know i i lined everything up Pulled them through, connected the, the button, and it was good. I can sell you one of these, so if you want one of these, 
Hit me up on the DM on the Instagram, and I'll sell it to you. I sell it for 20 bucks a piece. Or just get your own coat hanger and just make one. <laughs> it's easy, all right? That's all you got to do. Boom. So this baby's ready to go. We got another another upgrade, too, which is already done, but I'll show you on the next video. We actually did the Raptor grill on this thing. Raptor grill on the Ranger. How you like that? How you like that? So go check out that video. I'll post it up there. And we're good to go. And she's good. Look how good that baby looks. Look how good that baby looks. Ah, those things look badass. They're small little upgrades, right? But they, they, they really stand out, I think. So, let's go test them out on the road. Now, this park closes at 10, I think. If it's not closed already. No, it's not. But, hopefully we don't get attacked by bugs and shit out here. So, let's turn them on and see what they look like. Oh, look at that. Brights up the whole night. Ooh. Shit is bright. Bubs are gonna think there's some police coming in here. Look at the difference. Yeah, big difference. I don't think there's any cars here. Well, there's a couple here. See, it lights up. These are the rigid floodlights. LED pods, floodlights. That's what they're called. And honestly, I really like how they turned out. They turned out real well. What up, we're back. All right, so last night we tried out the lights. What do you think? They look good, right? First of all, aesthetically, they look good on the truck itself. Second of all, for function, I think they're great. When, when and if we ever take this truck out on the trail, it's just, it. those lights are, that's what they're for. They're floodlights, they light up the whole trail. So the headlights is one thing, where you're on the road and stuff like that, they're perfect. But to light up, light up the night, especially on the trail or something like that, when it's pitch dark, pitch black, and there's no street lamps around, uh, that's what these lamps are for. So they make a big difference. I really like the way they look. I like the function, I like the form. And you know what? And honestly, for a truck like this, well, for a new truck like this, I think the rigid is the way to go. Now, I'm telling you all this, and I'm not sponsored. This is my opinion, and strictly my opinion. So it's not something that I'd be paid to say. But if you're on a budget, just go get the ones at Amazon. Amazon, they're gonna be a lot cheaper. They're gonna be like a third of the price. It just depends what you're going for and what you wanna pay. So in this case, I chose to go with the quality, higher, more expensive ones, which is which is fine. So let's cut the video short here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna post. I'm gonna put my Instagram up here. I'll put the shop's Instagram up here, and go follow those two accounts. All right. I post a lot of stories, do a lot of stuff. But you'll see a bunch of stuff that we do on there on the on the daily. And uh, all right, go follow those two accounts. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for that. We're headed into the shop, so let's cut the video short here. Like I said. And thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you being here. I really do. I really, really do. Thank you. Share it whenever you can. I appreciate the love. I really, really do. Catch you on the next one. And you know the same. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Slowing down, I ain't slowing down. Living life up in the fast lane. Pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground. Living life up in the fast lane.